Honestly, all you really need to know is MVC. That's it. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're going to be talking about why all you really need to know is just the MVC pattern. You don't need to know MVVM. You don't need to know Viper. You don't need to know any other architecture really other than just MVC. But Kyle, I mean, it's it's the cool hotness to have architectures and all this all this other stuff. What about what what about the cool architectures? So honestly, I think that the state that we're in where people are asking which architecture pattern they should learn is just getting ridiculous. I know that people want to know different architecture patterns and that you know, it's kind of cool to be able to segregate your code and make sure that it's more efficient and then you're following all the practices of solid and and don't repeat yourself and all this great stuff. But at the end of the day, it really it really does not matter. It just doesn't. I want you guys to think about what it is to be a developer. Like, what is your goal as a developer? What are you supposed to be doing as a developer? You're supposed to be developing. You're supposed to be making stuff. Now, the amount of time that you guys are probably spending on just this idea alone or trying to go out there and learn a new architecture just just to be able to say, hey, I know this new architecture, I know MVVM or I know Viper or I know whatever else there is out there. It's honestly just wasted time because you could have been spending that time actually making something. And this is an especially crucial point for beginners because there's this there's notion where it's like, oh, we have to learn these different architectures in order to get hired by whoever, but that's actually not the case. And what some of these beginners are doing, they're spending time trying to learn some of these patterns, which honestly, they're kind of confusing. I spent time looking into MVVM. I spent time looking into Viper and it's just, it's a little bit overly complicated, especially for a beginner. And it's not going to help anybody. What I would rather have you doing instead of trying to learn this new pattern that everybody is saying that is the new hotness is actually just start building apps because that's what's really going to help. That's what's really going to make you come to a conclusion on what architecture you should actually be using because you might come up with one that's like your own. You don't necessarily have to follow strict MVC or strict MVVM. Like that's not a realistic approach. Like most of the time, even though that you set up these architectures and you build a whole entire project, they still don't cover all the different use cases that are thrown at you by a real world app. So you might be building an app and you might be creating a class or an object or something like that. And it still might fall outside the scope of what the architecture is telling you to do. And you have to keep in mind that a lot of these architectures are actually very vague. And there's a reason behind that. It's because nobody could really nail down all the different use cases for all the different types of projects out there. So there's gonna be a little bit of blurring of the lines no matter which architecture pattern you choose. Now, can learning other architectures help you and be, make you become a better developer? Yeah, of course. Just the fact that you're knowing something different, seeing how s some other architecture is approaching some type of problem, you might be able to adopt some of that and mix it into MVC or MVVM or whatever architecture pattern that you currently know. You don't need to know two, you really only need to know one and most likely you're just gonna learn MVC because that's what that's what is most popular. So like if you were to think about it, if you were gonna come from the standpoint of just knowing MVC and then you're thinking, oh, should I learn this other architecture pattern? You don't have to, it's not going to be, it's usually not a requirement, I don't, I couldn't, really see that as being a job requirement that you have to know MVVM or Viper going into a project, more likely than not, it's gonna take you about a week to catch up and really figure out how all the different stuff is laid out. Because if you're gonna be going into a project where they're saying that you have to know this specific type of architecture, it's because there's already some code that already exists. So if you just spend a week inside that code for whatever architecture pattern that they're using, then you could just essentially pick it up within a week and then you'll be good. It's not going to be, I, I really don't believe it's going to be a make it or break it deal in most situations. So just learn MVC. That's all you really need to know because what's most important is just getting experience guys. It's, it's getting experience by putting 
um, apps out into the world, you know, building software. That's what it all comes down to because we're supposed to be solving problems. We're not supposed to be making new problems for ourselves by saying, oh, well, what if we, what should we do this? Should we do that? What, 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 what? The client just doesn't care. The client can't see your beautiful architecture pattern that you implemented perfectly and that it's going to be handling this use case like so much better. Like most of the time, they're not going to be able to tell the difference. So instead of getting hung up on which new hotness architecture pattern you should learn, just go out there and make more apps. Because really, if you're making more apps, if you're if you're building different software, that's going to give you the best idea of what you should be doing in these different scenarios. Because experience just trumps everything. When you have experience, you know, you get better at what you do, you start seeing patterns and you can start seeing where it makes sense to start implementing new and different things. If you already know all the different things that there are to know about MVC and you already have projects out there and you really do just have time to kill, then fine. Go out there, learn MVVM, go out there, learn Viper, go out there, learn new hotness architecture insert right here. And then you'll be fine because I mean, obviously you're just doing the most and, and you don't really you don't really need to put out any more apps. You're already doing it right. <laughs> but for almost everybody else, all you really need to know is MVC and it's not going to hurt you if that's all you know. And if there is a job requirement where you need to learn MVVM or Viper or whatever it is, or that's what they're saying in the in the job listing, then just say that you know it and then spend a week during the hiring process to learn it because it's not that complicated and you can say, yeah, you dabbled in it and then yeah, just uh, learn it in, in the meantime before you actually start your first day of work and you'll be fine. Because if you really believe in yourself and if you know that you can learn whatever architecture it is that they're requiring, then you should be able to handle it within, you know, maybe a day, if not a week. And hiring processes usually take at least two weeks. So you should be fine. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Hope I'm going to be saving you a little bit of time when it comes to, you know, that whole entire plaguing idea of should I be learning a new architecture just to become a better developer? And just overall, the answer is no. Just stick with MVC, put out a couple of apps, make some software, make some money, solve some problems. It's it's really that simple. That's what our job is. It's not to be making amazing code that nobody might ever see. But that's just my opinion. So overall, you can go out there. You can just do whatever you want as long as you keep coding passionately. All right. Later, guys.